In this video tutorial, we cover how to select the correct SMPS power supply for analog HD cameras equipped with infrared night vision or built-in microphones. We'll provide the necessary drawings and components for connecting these cameras using standard 3 plus 1 CCTV cables, accommodating cable lengths from short distances up to 120 meters. This guide will help you understand how to choose the appropriate SMPS and voltage selection when using a 3 plus 1 CCTV cable for cameras with infrared night vision or built-in microphones. We will explain the specifications required to ensure the camera functions properly across the specified range of cable lengths. The camera SMPS power supply featured in the video is recommended for use with these cameras due to several beneficial features. It includes a manual switch for selecting between normal, long, and extra-long cable distances. Additionally, it has a cable compensation switch for voltage boosting and offers stabilized output with low interference. The power supply also provides short circuit and overload protection, ensuring safe and reliable operation for your cameras. This first method demonstrates the use of a regular 3 plus 1 CCTV cable for distances up to 60 meters. The cable consists of three wires for power and a coaxial type cable for video connectivity. Out of the three power wires, use two exclusively for the camera's power supply. At the DVR end, connect the wires to the SMPS, ensuring that the positive and negative polarities match correctly. For example, use the red wire for positive and the black wire for negative, while maintaining the same color scheme on both ends. At the camera end, connect the cable to the male DC pin, keeping the correct polarity. Use the same color coding for positive and negative connections as designated on the SMPS side. Consistent color coding across all connections is crucial to ensure proper power supply and to prevent potential electrical issues from reversed polarity, which could damage the camera. When the cable length does not exceed 60 meters, the camera will work perfectly according to the diagram, providing effective day and night vision without requiring any voltage adjustments at this stage. Next, when using a 3 plus 1 CCTV cable for distances up to 90 meters, a standard good quality copper cable can transmit both power and video to the camera. However, it may be necessary to increase the voltage on the camera's SMPS voltage selection switch to long or extra long to ensure the proper voltage reaches the camera end. This adjustment is needed because the power wire gauge may not be capable of supplying adequate power when the SMPS is set to normal voltage. When the SMPS switch is in normal mode, the power output at each port will be between DC 12 to 13 volts and 1 amp. As the power travels over a distance, it can diminish due to the length of the cable. By toggling the voltage switch to long or extra long, the SMPS will supply an output of 13 to 14 volts. By the time the voltage reaches the camera end, it will measure between 12 to 13 volts, which is adequate for the camera to function properly. In conclusion, when the cable length is between 70 to 90 meters, the camera will work perfectly according to the diagram, providing effective day and night vision, however, it will be necessary to toggle the voltage adjustment switch at this stage. Next, when using a 3 plus 1 CCTV cable for distances exceeding 100 meters, it is not advisable to use this type of cable due to the limitations of the power source wire gauge, which may not effectively transmit DC power to the camera end. However, if you choose to continue using the cable, you should set the SMPS voltage selection to extra long to help compensate for the voltage drop over the extended distance. Note, when installing the camera at distances greater than 100 meters, it is essential to use RG6 video cable along with a separate 0.75 to 1 square mm 2 core wire for DC power. This setup will ensure proper transmission and help achieve effective day and night vision. In another segment of this series, we will explain this setup in detail. If you follow the method and continue using the cable for distances above 100 meters, but the camera is not functioning in night vision mode, especially when the IR LED is glowing, you may need to switch to a different type of SMPS. 
a suitable option would be a single DC output SMPS rated at DC 12 volts with an output of 5 to 10 amps to ensure adequate power supply. The diagram above illustrates the type of SMPS and its connections. Additionally, you may use the voltage adjustment knob on the SMPS to make slight increases, which can help the camera operate properly during nighttime. If the camera is not functioning correctly using the previous method, showing distorted images or failing to provide clear visuals, especially at night, you can try this troubleshooting approach. Connect a separate, high-quality DC power adapter directly at the camera's location to ensure a stable power supply. The adapter should be rated at DC 12 volts and between 1 to 2 amps, which is adequate for powering the camera, particularly when the IR LEDs are activated. Using a dedicated power source helps bypass potential issues related to voltage drop from the existing wiring. After connecting the adapter, check the camera image to see if the quality improves. Make sure all connections are secure and verify that the power adapter is functioning properly. This method can significantly enhance the camera's performance, especially when dealing with longer cable runs. Thank you for watching. We sincerely appreciate your support as we work to create more valuable content for you. If you found this video helpful and informative, please take a moment to like and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any upcoming tutorials and guides. Your support motivates us to continue delivering high-quality content to enhance your experience with technology.